All right, guys. You know how sometimes the people that do the videos be like, I've got a treat for y'all today. Well, I got a treat for me today. And you can see the nose of it sticking out right there. The bandit, boy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Check her out. Half in the shade. Let's pop up back here. There we go. Four stroke Merc. Bandit. Pretty, pretty, gonna be a fun day. But, anyways, turn y'all around. Uh oh. Something weird's happening. Something weird is happening. There we go. I don't know how to work all this camera stuff. But anyways, today we're going to go to one of the places that is an absolute treat for me. Not as much for y'all. But it's a small little stretch of river where some of the absolute biggest bass I've ever heard of being caught were caught right in this one small stretch of river. I mean like 14 pounder. A bunch over 10, some 12, some 13s. I mean, a, thir a 14 pounder not even that long ago since I've been fishing, which is absolutely unheard of. I don't know if I've even heard of a public lake 14 pound bass in Alabama since I've been fishing. So we're gonna say the biggest bass in Alabama are in this stretch of river. So let's go see if the bandit can't wrangle one up. All right, guys, <clears throat> made it to the best big bass place in Alabama not saying that's hundred percent sure for sure but did hear about like I told y'all a 14 and a bunch of tens come out of here but there's still a few of these left in stock the Kyle Welcher commemorative spool I know I showed this to y'all in a couple videos but super cool spool is 20 pound Sunline shooter comes with a spool with my name on it and pretty cool little case in case so there's a there's a couple of these left. There's not many left. I will check and make sure there's still some in stock before this video goes up. And if it goes up, you'll know there is a few left in stock, but I know there's not many. I know they're getting super slim. But anyways, pretty cool that Sunline did this and I really appreciate them doing that. If y'all want to go celebrate my AOI win, go pick up one of these. They're, they're numbered and you can actually, you know, see which number you get. There's, there was only 300 of them made. I know most of them are already gone, but still pretty cool. But anyways, about to back the boat. We got some wind. We got a little bit of conditions. You know, that's Usually when I fish over here, there's no wind, you know, and they look like they were generating a little bit of water and it's either going down right now. It looks like it's probably going down from generating. So a little bit of extra current and then some wind. So hopefully they'll bite a jerkbait, DT6, flip a jig a little bit. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, should be really fun and potential for a really, really big one this time of year. So this is one of those things where conventional bass fishing wisdom would say, you know we got bluebird skies we had a front come through yesterday it rained this weekend a little bit but it was super cloudy and and a front came through now it's post frontal bluebird skies and wind which is pretty much the, the case after after a you know front comes through most people would say it's not gonna be a very good fishing day but for me these seem to be the days where i catch them the biggest fish not the most fish not the most two and a half to three pounders but six pluses i seem to catch them on days like today post frontal bluebird and windy that's when i catch the biggest fish every single time like it's always seems like that now are these the days where you catch 23 to 25 pounds not usually because you're not going to catch a bunch of those big fish they seem like those really really big ones bite in these conditions so See if we can catch one today. All right. We officially fishing. It's colder than I anticipated it to be. We on a little... <laughs> I thought I was like, that's going to be too easy. Yeah, should have knew better. We're on the inside of a little flat, little ditch. Cranking. Hopefully one will bite this sucker at some point. A lot of grass and stuff though. Caught some of it there. Boy, power poles would sure make it easy. I'm just gonna crank it slow down that ditch. Really kind, of, really kind of feel like a jerk bait would be the play. A 
which I've got one. I think I said this earlier, but we've got, the current has stopped, which is probably the worst conditions you could have is them cutting the current off and like a receding water line and less current. Those are not the best conditions. What do I got, grass? Huh, that felt like one thumped it. Most of this stuff is dying, dead. Oh, I had one. That was weird. Really weird. Whenever he came up, my bait came up, he was seeing him flashing on it. <clears throat> make a little change so we've got this is a new bait from Rapala it's the Maverick Precision Extreme Maverick 110 that sounds fancy Don't know if I'm qualified for precision extreme, but we're gonna try. Grass, grass, grasses, grasses, not basses. We'll start making a little bit shorter casts. Turtles is up here. Turtles is definitely up here. <clears throat> so I have no problem admitting this, but offshore grass fishing is probably one of my biggest weaknesses as far as being a professional angler and fishing a style it's definitely offshore grass i'm not very good at it not a big fan of it don't enjoy it don't like doing it there's a couple very key situations where i like it but for the most part, it's like my nemesis way to fish. Got to get back over there where it's a little bit deeper. But it got too shallow up here now, but there's a piece of wood I wanted to throw over. Thought I might see one come eat that sucker there. All 
You can see the grass. Maybe, maybe you can see it down there. Just kind of stringy. Laid over in the current. Not very thick at all right now. But that's fine. Now we can make some longer casts. Like I said, I really feel like this is going to be the bait today for a big one. And maybe for numbers. So you can see I'm kind of working this bait aggressively. Pretty fast. <clears throat> water temp's not super cold. If I had to guess, water temp's around 50, 51. Which they still really, they still eat really, really good when that water temp's anywhere above 50, you know, they eat really good. Just down there, 46, 47 down here in the south, they don't really eat. That dog wants to eat me, I think. Come on, fish. Dang, I thought I got it untangled up. Flip a jig and lay down one time. I have a little bit of a tougher time flipping down current than up current which is pretty pretty standard whenever i go down i just try to make sure i hit the places i think are optimal you know like i want to hit the best stuff hmm Not ideal. A little bit of struggling so far. Make a little move. All right. We got dogs barking. Big trucks up there. We just got all kinds of noise going on. And the bass ain't biting so far. Come on. Well, it's dang windy over here. If I was on a big lake, it'd be real bad.
Come on, DT. catch one right here hope I didn't just go over all them rocks for no reason but I had it in my mind I had it in my mind that I wanted to come up here so Gotta do it. Gotta go where your gut tells you. All right, so I got one actually. Check him out. It took me a while, but I did get one finally. Maybe that keep me in a little bit. My battery died. So I left the fish in the water till I unhooked him. Until I got a new battery, I mean. But just caught him. Pretty fish, pretty small. But maybe it keep me in to what they where they want to be. It's cold. I don't want to be on the wood in the bank. Makes sense. So we'll fish around right here for a second. God, it scared the crap out of me. Dang turtle fell off, fell off that limb, dude. Whew. <laughs> the Thought we didn't have a gunshot. We got every other sound. Oh my goodness. That sucker got me. I really feel like though this is the deal. So I don't fish over here when it's cold. Almost ever. Because I like the way it fishes when it's hot. When it's cold, when they catch them big, big ones. Got one. Be a big one. Not a big one, but I do got one. Not a 14 pounder. Barely had him hooked. I actually caught one. The camera was off just a second ago. Pretty one. Belly flopped him. I was just kind of drifting in the current, jerking it every once in a while. We locked it up.
I'm telling you, man, I'm struggling today. I've been struggling all week. Bait got tangled. Got fouled up. always go a different direction than I went today usually go down river today I decided to go up it has not worked so now I gotta go down river a little bit which now I've caught three they've all three been small Yoke that sucker up there somewhere. Is that a fish? That's grass. All right, better go down. Good filling bank right there. I know there's a fish on this sucker. Caught the slime. Come on now. Bunch of grass. Catch a big one on a jig. Caught a few big ones right here. Caught a few fives, maybe a six. Never caught a 14 right here though. Come on, jerker. If I would have gotten here a little earlier today, probably would have had some decent fishing. <clears throat> or from about now on, should be decent when i got here the water was like a foot high higher than right now so i knew it was falling and that makes it tough because they was <clears throat> positioned differently in that current and they eat in the current in the heavy current a lot so it takes them a second to get back the colder it is the longer it takes them to reacclimate after the current or when the current starts so the water temp being cold they're not just going to fly wherever you know and change super quick come on now let's get another 
another one. I got one little secret stretch. Now I'm about to hit. One little secret stretch. There's one. Right at the boat. Now he's under the boat. Well, he got one hook hook on him. Yeah, oh. him. They're fat, dude. They're built right over here right now. They're just small. But well, that one's over two pounds, probably two pounds, two two and a quarter. drift it up here on top of it a little too much now. All right, guys. A little bit tough out here. Don't know how many I've caught now. Four, five, six, something. I don't know. Not, not a bunch. And no good ones at all. But got one more place where caught two at today just i know there's some big ones around maybe with it being low light now it's almost dark got to pull up a trick one of them but just haven't caught any good ones you know they came up schooling around me which is like super cold water they were like just schooling and stuff and i caught one out of it missed one out of it but you know it's just crazy that uh they came up this time of year doing that like it really shocking to me but hey they gotta eat, you know, no matter what the water temp is, they gotta eat something. So we're about to uh, hit one more spot and then head back to the house. So, let's see if we catch a big one right here at the end. I mean, there's giants down here, and I'm actually surprised I have not caught at least a three pounder, but, or three or four pounder. Usually you catch quite a few of those. Today's just been a weird day, you know? Let's catch that big one, though. <clears throat> Gosh dang. Oh my goodness, dude. That sucker took it from me. There's one. I got two on there. Nope, what the one, now I only got one. I definitely went the wrong way earlier. That last one, dude, when I hit him, it was like a brick wall. That's why I missed him, though. He's just nipping at it. They're in that negative mood because that current ain't right. They're nipping at it. Let's get back over there. That pretty fun. The losing that one wasn't that fun, but the catching that one was pretty fun. Threw right behind a big rock. Yeah. 
We're right there. That was grass, moss, whatever. Every place I've ever been where there's a lot of current, gets that moss on the rocks. Sun's going down a little bit. Can't really see what I need to be throwing at no more. Especially I'm right here in the shade. So I tried cranking, you know, a fair amount. <clears throat> Flip the jigs on them. They're just not on that at all. I can catch them on this Maverick a little bit. I mean, it's still not good. I think that's mostly because of where I'm fishing though. Like I don't feel, I, I needed more time, honestly. I don't feel like I have really cracked it and found them. You know, like I ain't found them where they're really sitting. I think that's the main problem. And fishing out of this boat, if they don't bite the few baits that I bring, you know, there's nothing I could do really. Maverick is approved by the bass here though for a tough day. They're biting it.
there's one. Feels better. He's better, but he's not great. I'm gonna get him on my 10 pound line. Oh, don't get me with them hooks, though. He ain't. He deceived me in that clear water. They're all so pretty over here, though. They got them red eyes. Them suckers, man. Pretty old fish. Golly. Sorry about that. That was one of those instances where it's better to be behind the camera than here in person because he got me. A little bit of a pattern where they're all sitting. Which I kind of thought they would be kind of doing what they're doing when I got here and I fished some of these same similar places in a different area and I was like well they're just not doing that today and they are doing that you just gotta get around a fish I wasn't around many at first that's for sure Crazy, I've only caught one down through here. There's obviously fish in the area, and that one just came up and blew up. Which none of them seem like giants. But still, man, that water's clear. I can see the bottom right there, I mean. I guess it's about five and a half foot deep. I can see the bottom. Blowing up again. Put that on his head. Got one. Got a little one that was out there blowing up. Spotted bass. That one I missed at the boat earlier wasn't a spot. He didn't even fight the whole way back. He is hooked in his lip. God almighty. They're blowing up. Can't get him unhooked. Pretty spot. He's skinny though. He's pretty. As far as the size.
Man, I have never seen them doing this here. I guess because I don't fish over here this time of year. Come on now. Dang. A little tap on the side of the boat for good luck. That's all that was. A little good luck tap. It's like hitting the home plate with your baseball bat. You know, you got you just gotta touch, you know what I'm saying? You got to. You can't just walk up there and not touch home plate with your bat. Unless you want to strike out, you know? Y'all keep on schooling. I got something for y'all. Where you at? Come back over here tomorrow with a top water. Ooh. Come on back up now. One of them that schooled looked big. The one I missed at the boat was a pound three quarter, two pound largemouth. One of them suckers that schooled though, whew, sucker looked right. Man. Don't you hate when fish are smarter than you are? Let's go. We got a little bit of time left. changing directions quickly I guess you call that a gust my bait gets like that 
sometimes I feel like they something bit at it and just pushed it, you know. Golly, so I've got to have a nader. Come on, right there. All right, got the boat on the trailer. I actually pulled up to that spot that I was talking about and caught two back-to-back -back casts, like making making a cast where I've caught 300 of them before in my life. Caught two back-to-back. -back. They're both small, but I didn't have any more GoPro battery left. Like, I even turned the camera off because it had 8%, and I pulled up, and I turned it on, and I turned it on, it filmed half a cast, and it went off. But anyways, still a pretty fun day. It's cool to be able to fish a place that I don't fish very often. You know, it's unique, it's different, makes you think a little bit differently about where they might be. And, you know, like I said, I don't think I've ever been down here this time of year, ever, you know, so pretty cool to do it, but, and it's close to the house, so it's not bad. But a little change of pace because I've been running back and forth to all my small little local lakes recently but i haven't been here so pretty cool appreciate it appreciate y'all watching